<laughs> all right guys so the score is uh 77 to 2 and up at the top you can see the home team has 77 uh the visitor and that is me <laughs> that's two points but you know what i feel like i actually scored because i've been watching this uh, environment on the marketplace on the unreal Mar Mar Unreal engine marketplace and uh i finally finally got it because uh, the reason i wanted it i've been doing a lot of uh, this uh, basketball themed move.ai you know captures and so i needed a like an environment that could actually look great so you can see i did the, it comes with some default lighting from outside but i've added some new lights in here and lumen is making it look so much better guys i love the unreal engine i can't say that enough and this is one of the reasons because when i see like a, a pro like an environment that has been prepared for the Unreal Engine 5.1, I get excited because then I know it's going to be utilizing the new Lumen, you know, sensor. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about something close to, uh, again, the Unreal Engine 5.1, and that is uh, the updated uh, VCAM, the live cam, live link VCAM. And right now I have just added one component. So the way I am added is just go here, go to virtual production and add a VCAM actor. And so let me stop the playback. So this is the VCAM actor right here. And I'm gonna use my iPhone 10 to drive this cam. So they've updated the app itself. So when I went to the app store, I noticed that there was a new update. It has better a better interface. And I wanted to see what it would look like in this environment, right? And so I've added the VCAM. I've added the IP address on my iPhone 10. And so one of the things that I definitely have to do is once I've selected the camera here is scroll down in the details panel, select VCAM, make sure it's enabled over here. And ah, already you can see some new uh, like features on the interface. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, press, I won't do F11 just yet. Uh, let's minimize this. Let's push this over here so you can see a little bit more push this over here scale all right so already you can see over on the left hand side it looks totally different than the, than the way it used to do and let me go ahead and press the g key to go into game mode okay so we have a new the interface looks totally different here you have this camera icon and the settings over here all of these are completely new right and so now my cup uh, i have to make sure that uh, i'm actually running the live link over here let's go ahead and bring up live link and as you can see it's streaming my iphone is already streaming over here and uh, the data is coming in it doesn't con it have not connected yet that's why it's not it hasn't turned green just yet and over to the right hand side you can see some of the features over here okay all right now let me go pre, uh, pre i'm going to press re, uh, connect on the live link we come on my iphone and see what happens it's connecting boom <laughs> this is awesome already it is i can feel the responsiveness this is way 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 better this is much much softer i can record this and feel like that handheld feel to it right let me actually minimize this over here so you can see so there's our basketball player <laughs> that is me i captured that at a rec center in a racquetball environment but i imagine i try to imagine myself shooting baskets over there okay so let's go ahead and play the sequence over here and ah oh, i can actually do that and actually go in and out track the character watch as the shot is and it's gonna boom oh oh, oh. <laughs> he lost the ball but let's go wait until he gets back goes into his t-pose i want to see if i can like track the ball going that way so 
this is amazing, us being able to do this, right? And let me go, actually, I'm going to stand up briefly, and then I might go silent for a quick, just wait, let me go stand up. And as you can see, guys, I was able to walk all the way over in my uh, office and you could see the, how far back I was able to walk. But this is amazing. So if I tap on this interface right here, let me tap on it. So you can see uh, some, you know, items of new items have shown up. So let's click on the camera itself. In there, so now we can control the different, uh, you know, types of like super FM, and you can, <laughs> I can go like a do a tie shot on him like this, which is really cool and it's very stable. I'm using my iPhone, but I feel like I'm holding like a camera nicely, so we can see our character there. Let me see if I can go to the basket so pile over there. What's the score? <laughs> it's still 77 to 2. <laughs> I need to do better as a visitor, right? So let's choose another option that's 16 millimeter over there. Let's go to 35 millimeter. Thirty-five millimeter over there, and then you have the thirty-five millimeter academy, and then you have and then we have four frame and let's see we have seventy millimeter. Look at that. <laughs> All right, and then we have a uh, APSC. That wouldn't be. Let's do the full frame DSLR, and then you have the micro thirds, micro four thirds. <laughs> so cool, and I can just look all the way around. Looks beautiful. Lumen is looking, making this look really, really, really good. It looks so realistic. That's why I love the Unreal Engine and especially Unreal Engine 5.1. I highly, highly, highly recommend it, guys. Right? So let's try something else also. ISO. So you can control the ISO over here. <laughs> that is a hundred. Let's go 400, 1600, or about 3200. So if we go back to automatic exposure, which is right there, which is what we had, that's pretty cool. And then on this side, you can also have some more controls to adjust the exposure itself. That is awesome <laughs> all right what else do we have so we have the near clip and far clip over here and you can also control that on that side and then we can go down here you can do a mask then we go to the settings on this side so this is for again axis control that's amazing it's a joystick you can adjust these features over here, control over on the inside. You can control on this side as well. And let's try, you can also bookmark if you want. 
and then we go to over here oh my goodness that sets us to the zero back to zero <laughs> uh, so that is like below the ground which is not ideal really because i wanna i need to go back to where we are so overall guys uh again today i was just walking through the vcam let me go ahead and disconnect that part and how it makes it makes it so much easier for us to control you know the camera camera settings and also be able to record a session that you have in here and i was using this set uh this uh basketball gym session that i did and <laughs> i am super happy about it super happy so i guys if you really want to try it out just uh again download the unreal engine 5.1 it's free for you to try out and all these features the new live link vcom uh, all package you don't have to pay for that it's all free on the uh, app store and go ahead and try it for me i <laughs> i just <laughs> love it <laughs> that's it so let me go ahead uh, again i'm just gonna walk you through again real quick how i was able to do this um it's gonna be a new cam so you go over to the menu over here go to virtual production add a vcam and then place it where you want it to be let's bring back the g camera and let's move it to like where the character is then we're going to be in front of him okay and then when you when you're ready go to the details over here select the vcam uh, make sure it is enabled like that and we're going to press the g key let's click in the in interface press g key to get rid of some of those things and then when once you're ready just press connect on your iphone your ipad and once it's ready it's gonna connect and then you'll be able to track <laughs> your player what? dribble 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 air dribble and shoot and then we trace the ball making it all the way to the basket right <laughs> oh my gosh anyway thank you so much guys for joining me today guys it's too much fun I, I have a lot of fun when i'm playing in the unreal engine but i just wanted to point out that uh that the live link vcom has been updated it's available on the app store and it works great with the unreal engine 5.1 and if you light your scene with Lumen, it's going to look realistic. Thank you so much for joining me again today, guys. If you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. Again, today we're talking about the LiveLink VCAM that has been updated. It's very responsive. It works great on your iPhone 10 and above. That, uh, especially if your uh, phone has like a depth sensing camera it works great on the ipad and it has so many cool features that they've added over here so anyway see you next time with another insight as always dare to dream big never give up on your dream take care of yourselves much love i i will continue praying for you guys see you next time with a new uh, uh with another video <laughs> and another insight at story so have fun guys this is so, so, so cool. Look at that. All right. Bye for now. <laughs>